The management of the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital is making frantic efforts to repair a broken down linear accelerator system used in cancer treatment to prevent disruptions in patient care. The hospital's management is appealing to the Ministry of Health for a tax waiver to clear essential radiotherapy equipment currently held at the port. Channel One News' is Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafiz Tijani reports. In June this year, Doctors at the hospital's oncology department abandoned their consulting rooms in protest over the malfunctioning linear accelerator machine, which is vital for radiotherapy services. This affected medical care at the department as cancer patients were referred to other facilities for treatment. The hospital faces a financial hurdle in raising approximately 1 million Ghana cities needed to pay the duty for the water phantom, a crucial device required for calibrating the linear accelerator system used in cancer treatment. According to the hospital's chief executive officer, Professor Autry Adaimensa, while the necessary equipment to resolve the issue has been procured, the cost of clearing it from the port remains a challenge. Immediately we fixed that. Then there was a problem with the water phantom that was required to calibrate the radiotherapy doses. Now guess what? It had not been budgeted for. The total cost was $110,000. We have paid for that. The equipment is in-house. But we are having to battle with about 1 million CDs by way of duty. We have written for exemption, Dr. Nsiansari and the Ministry of Finance are working very hard at it. And I hope that very soon the water phantom would be brought to Kumasi. And then uh, our oncology patients who need radiation therapy uh, would begin receiving them. The Konfaranochi Teaching Hospital now conducts 300 dialysis sessions every month, largely due to a new government policy offering free dialysis treatment for specific groups of patients. Professor Adai Mensa also emphasized the urgent need to equip the hospital's renal unit with additional dialysis machines to prevent a potential shutdown. We do our very best until we are pushed to our wit's end. That is when uh, these issues will come to the fore. But I then make the point that we may get there if remedial actions are not taken as soon as possible. Like, I must say that through the IGF, we have bought three brand new dialysis machines. The hospital is making arrangements to buy six new dialysis machines, also from internally generated funds, our own funds, to buy these uh, anesthesia machines. The challenge, however, is that we have also refurbished the dialysis center. The place is empty, and we need a minimum of, and the maximum, about 25 dialysis machines to complement it. Now, the need for more dialysis machines has become dire, and it is so because of a very good policy that has been rolled out by the government. During the hospital's 2024 media performance review in Kumase, he assured his commitment to enhancing the quality of healthcare delivery at the facility. Management of the Confanochi Teaching Hospital is emphasizing the need for more stakeholder collaboration to enhance healthcare delivery at the facility. Hafiz Tijani, Channel 1 News, Kumasi, Ashanti Region.